Just make it better than this. So that way I can make it even better next time. I've heard imitation is the highest form of flattery. So there are definitely a lot of instances in where I feel flattered in my card making. But I made something really, really hype, and I thought I just wanted to start doing these like maybe weekly or bi-weekly updates on printing stuff that I'm doing, show you guys some upcoming things, stuff I'm excited about, talk about like what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, because I actually had a lot of fun with the last video I made, and it's important for me to have fun with my YouTube videos because it's for fun. Anyway, this video is sponsored by me, Kaizoku Cards. I have a new card back, you can see it right here. Um, this card back is only available if you find me in person. I give a ton of cards away, like I pretty much always have cards. I'm strapped with cards when I'm in public and when I meet people that I have get along with, I, I usually give them a card. So this, this card back is only available by meeting Joku in a public place um, uh, while supplies last. Uh, I have some new deck boxes. This is oh spoilers, spoilers. If you if you're not caught up with the manga, there's gonna be some spoilers here. So fast forward or whatever. Um, this is like my favorite moment in the manga right now, like currently. So um, Grace uh, illustrated this panel and uh, these deck boxes. They're sidewinder deck boxes that fit like your deck and stuff. Anyway, these are on Kaizoku cards and. The Nami deck box was really popular, so I decided to do it in white because I wanted to see what that looked like, and then I realized I really liked it, and I like making this stuff for myself. I keep one of everything for myself, so new Nami deck boxes. And the most hype thing is the Crying Straw Hats Dawn set. So if there's things that people know me for in terms of like what I've made, I'd say probably the Whitebeard Leader and the Crying Hats Dawn set. So. Um, I've seen the number of crying hat dawn sets out there since I made mine um, and you know I I want I want people I do like it when people make stuff that I make because I take it as a compliment however I like it more when they take what I make and make it better because I'm the one that made it so I'll probably want to make it again and I want to do it better better so that that's kind of my hope with this is that if somebody you know does want to make this set exactly the same as I made it, just make it better than this. So that way I can make it even better next time. So I decided to redo the Straw Hats Dawn set and I worked with uh, HZ19, um, HZ19Art on Instagram uh, to create a texture layer that has all of their Jolly Rogers in it. So you can see like the Straw Hat Jolly Roger here, you can kind of see it up here. But it's very, it's not super visible, it just looks like texture, but when you hold it at the right light, right angle, you can see all of their Jolly Rogers. Um, so this is kind of like a, you know, on like expensive things, how they put something that's hard to mimic. I would say this is kind of like that. Uh, my thumbprint, if you will, on this Dawn set. Not that, I mean, they are printed on cards, you would obviously know by what it's printed on. But yeah, so each, each Straw Hats, uh, Jolly Roger is on here. These are all hyperfoil. I'm gonna be taking these to Orlando, so I, I imagine uh, you know a number of them are gonna disappear there. By the way, if you're at Orlando, come say hi, please. I love taking pictures. Please, let's take a picture and do a cool pose. Um, but yeah, I figured I'd remix this. I'm dropping this today, so your first chance to get it is today, like right after this video. I'm gonna be posting this almost immediately after this video. So you can swoop up a set if you want before I take them down to Orlando. I don't know how many are gonna disappear there, but um, I think these came out pretty good. I'm pretty hyped about this. I really like this Dawn set. This was the first Dawn set that I made, and I, I think it's I think it's my best Dawn set. But yeah, that's that. And then I also thought I'd just dive into this book here. This is my test book. So this is all stuff that I've either made or is being made. These already dropped there on Kaizoku cards. This one is still in stock. There's some of these, this leader, but I'll probably do something again with this design because I love it. Um, I got this Sanji, which I showed off in the last video, which is pretty hype. Croco Mom is making her debut. Whoops, spoiler, I'll get to that, sorry. Um, so yeah, there's a Croco Mom. I've, I have dropped this Dofi and the Big Mom also. So those are both available. Dofi dropped yesterday, I think. 
Um, and I have some Yamatos coming up. I know people love this Yamato design. I'm going to be bringing that back probably when the shop reopens. Also, this Oiren design I'm very hyped about. Um, that I'll probably be dropping when the site reopens as well. This one's available. It's selling out fast. There's a couple copies left. This is, uh, I call this the fight for Luffy. Spoiler again. And then this is like what I'm most hyped about. This is like super, super hype. Uh, this is this artist, Super Rose. I'm a huge fan of Super Rose art. And I finally got around to printing some cards with her art and I'm dropping a uh, set of them today. So it's gonna be Luffy is gonna be one. And then there's, uh, oh, this one's pretty pretty good. And oh yeah, I'm gonna be doing a limited hyperfoil of this. This is gonna be the last manga card. So whoops, surprise, or second to last, maybe. Um, this one dropped as Pirate King Luffy is out as well. This one's got the Jolly Roger back there also, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Lady Law is already available. Uh, this, so this Law is going to be the other one that's dropping today. I can't get it out of there. Anyway, that's the Law, and then I got this Zoro as well. So Law, Zoro, and Luffy are dropping today. They're not coming out with text. It's just going to be full arts, so you can get cases if you want to play with the cards, or just put them in your binder for your collection. Um, but yeah, so those are like the hype new things that are going on at Kaizoku Cards. Uh, I'm sh closing the shop today at midnight. So if you want to get orders in, get them in. I'm going to be taking a lot of stock to Orlando. So please come find me in Orlando. I'll be giving smoking deals on shiny cards. But I'm mainly going to have cards with text. So the full arts should still be relatively similar stock, I would guess. It's mainly going to be text cards down there. But I will be taking some full arts. But that's it. That's the hype of Kaizoku cards. I am a dentist. I can't end without giving a dental tooth tip. Um, I really recommend, some people have been asking me about tooth whitening. Um, I recommend the product called Opalescence Go. It's super easy to use. Um, you, you know, you just put these trays on and create a little suction, sticks this thing to your teeth and you wear it for like 15 to 30 minutes. And then when you're done, you just take it off and brush your teeth. And doing that for about a week and then maybe some touch-ups over time will definitely get some change in your tooth shade. Uh, I whitened my teeth two weeks ago and almost all of my patients commented on something about uh, like my hair or that I'm looking good because I've lost some weight or something like that. But I think it was really my teeth. You know, people see teeth, they just don't always register the fact that what they're seeing the change in is your teeth. So if you're thinking about whitening, I think that's a great option. Make sure to be using toothpaste that strengthens your enamel. Also, I recommend Pronamel. I think it's a great one to keep your enamel strong. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see y'all in the next one.